Luke was just a whisker past his teen years in A New Hope. If we're getting specific, he was precisely 19 years old. George Lucas's classic tale plucked the young Skywalker right out of adolescence and chucked him into the throes of a galactic rebellion. Your typical coming-of-age stuff, right? This young farm boy from Tatooine, gazing into the twin-setting suns, dreaming of adventure and something bigger than moisture farming, was embodying a relatable yearning for most of us. Luke's story begins when he stumbles across R2-D2 and the message from Princess Leia that would thrust him into the center of an interstellar conflict. When the film was released, the character's youth helped audiences, especially younger viewers, connect with his journey and growth. There's something about that age, 19, standing on the cusp of adulthood, but not quite there. It mirrors the transitional stage of Luke's life, from farmhand to hero. The whole hero's journey trope, yes, we're wading into Joseph Campbell territory, captures Luke at this tender age. It's a narrative goldmine, young enough to be relatable to the adolescents in the crowd, but just old enough to take on the Empire without needing a fake ID. Living in Portland, Oregon, I've met plenty of kids like Luke. They work the food trucks or the indie bookstores while dreaming of shaping the world, leaving their mark. The Rose City is full of Luke Skywalkers at heart, wishing for a droid to roll into their lives with a hologram that'll kickstart their epic saga. But a friendly reminder to all would-be Skywalkers out there. Adventure is cool, but don't forget to call your Aunt Beru or Uncle Owen every now and then. They worry about you, even if you're just bullseyeing womp rats in your T-16 back home. 